what is the address of the emergency? He's walking south on Billy Street. He has a mask on. He looks good to you. He might be okay. a good person or a bad person. Yeah. Your favorite stop right there. Hey, stop right there. If he hadn't worn that mask, I think he could have lived, yeah. I'm going home. Relax or I'm going to have to change this situation. Is it a crime to run down the street wearing a ski mask? Again, it's suspicious circumstances. Is it a crime? It is suspicious circumstances. So I want everybody to pay for this because it's the great cover-up of Colorado right now. I could hear it in his voice. I'm just different. That's all. That's all I was doing. This is a Fox 31 News special. The problem solvers investigate what happened to Elijah McClain. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jeremy Hubbard, joined by problem solvers, investigative reporter Lori Jane Gleha. Back in August 2019, long before COVID-19, a 23-year-old named Elijah McClain was walking home from the store at night right here wearing a mask. And that mask and the way Elijah appeared to be walking, moving his arms a little bit, was enough to set in motion the events that would lead to his death and eventually massive protests here and around the country. I've been investigating the case of Elijah McClain since he died. It involves police, paramedics, and the drug ketamine. Here's the story of what happened to Elijah McClain. 